Welcome back, Nail Crew. It's Monday, so I got another school vlog for you, and today we're learning how to clean our tools. I'm gonna show you how I set up for a client and how I clean up after the client is gone. So if you wanna see that, keep watching. All right guys, so before the client even comes for the service, I like to wipe down the surface of everything that we're gonna come in contact with. And I just like to clean and prep for them. These are antibacterial, antiviral wipes, and I just use them to wipe the table just like I'm doing now, get everything nice and clean for them before they even come and sit down. Plus they smell good too, so they're gonna come and have a nice smell, and it's like, oh! lovely and then I put out all the acrylics that I think I'm going to use so for this lady I know it's a fill and I used eternal beige on her before so I have the eternal beige and some other colors in case she changes her mind I have a towel the towel is because I don't have a dust collector and so I file over the towel and it collects the dust and then I throw it in the hamper over to the side I have like some drill bits just like the common drill bits that I think I'm going to use but then in my drawer I have extra ones so I put the ones that I know I'm gonna use for sure on top and then the extra ones right below it in case I have to grab it off to the side I have my brushes my cuticle oils um look at my little cuticle oil pen y'all ah yeah 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 coming soon y'all coming soon <laughs> but i also have like my primer over here my dehydrator and, and basically things that i know i'm going to use now i'm charging my tablet because we're either going to listen to music or i'll have her watch netflix so i just like to keep my clients entertained so i'm charging my tablet then i'm gonna have to grab a snack because sometimes it takes me a long time and i don't want to be hungry and grouchy so i'm going to drink this protein shake and then of course i have to chew gum because i don't like to be up in any anyone's face with stink breath okay so my client came I did her nails this is what they look like I think they came out so cute she was so happy and now that she's gone it's time to clean up so I'm gonna use those same wipes these disinfectant wipes and I'm going to wipe the table down again get rid of all the dust and just everything just make it look nice and clean for the next person so I did that and then I have all the tools and things that I use and I put them in a bowl so as I use the drill bits or the nail clippers or whatever I throw them in this little glass bowl and then at the end of the service I take them to the sink and I rinse them out so right now I'm just washing them off in the sink and now to prepare for the barbicide the real deep cleaning so we rinse them off but we still have to clean them rinsing them off isn't cleaning them that's just getting rid of some of the debris and things like that so that your barbicide doesn't turn cloudy with junk and germ and dust and all that so I'm just showing you guys what the barbicide package looks like now I know in Florida barbicide is the recommended cleaner it is a hospital grade cleaner which means that it's going to kill everything so once you clean your tools with this like you don't have to worry about anything <laughs> no germs will survive if you do it right no germs will survive and that way you could feel safe like you could feel safe sharing your tools and implements between client to client because i'm telling you when you go oh my god when you go to get your nails done in a salon they do not even clean between clients and i've seen it because i used to go get my nails done and i would sit down get my nails done get up somebody will sit right back down and they will use the same tools the same ones they don't even clean it and i'm like oh my gosh knowing what i know now from school it's like wow wow all right let me get off of my uh my little soapbox here so in order to properly dilute the barbicide the bottle says put two ounces of barbicide and 32 ounces of water. So two ounces of barbicide, 32 ounces of water. But my container is so small that I can't do that. So I'm doing one ounce of barbicide and 16 ounces of water. So I just cut the ratio in half but it should still be the same concentration okay so I did one ounce of barbicide and 16 ounces of water and I'm just showing you here if the two if you have like this same little measuring cup the two is clearly marked but the one isn't 
it's just that line right underneath it so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it up to that one and I'm going slow here because I don't want to waste it I don't want to pour too much like <laughs> I want to get it right <laughs> so I'm pouring it in look how pretty that blue is that is so cute that's a pretty blue <laughs> I love it I love how that color is it looks like a pool it looks like a nice pool like you're gonna go swimming in barbicide let's dive in everybody dive in nail crew swim right through the tv screen <laughs> and then we're just gonna pour that right in just like that i like how the water sounds going in there don't you guys i love how that sounds all right so i have my water and my barbicide mixture and I don't want to tilt it too far, but I was just trying to show you guys what it looks like. All right, so now it's time to put the tools in. So let's get that. Here's a little middle piece. Oh, look at that. Looking so professional. All right, so now I have my implements, my tools. They're semi-clean because I rinsed them off, but now we're going to disinfect them. We're just going to throw them right in just like that. Now I do want to point out my barbicide solution says anti-rust formula. However, if you leave it in the solution too long, it may rust. So just don't do that. Even though it says anti-rust formula, <laughs> just don't even try it because I have rusted a few of my tools before and I can still use them, but they look ugly as hell. Okay, so 10 minutes set your phone timer for 10 minutes and take them out all right so i let them sit for 10 minutes and now i am going to put on some gloves because you do not want your hands to come in contact with the solution it is an irritant so if you keep touching the barbicide solution with your hands you might develop some sort of allergy a dermatitis something of that nature and you need your hands like your hands are what you're using to do nails so you can't do nails with hands that look infected or a rash on them or things like that so you want to protect your hands right so get you some gloves and whenever you're going to go into the container or touch tools that have been recently cleaned with the barbicide you just put on a glove and i only need one because I'm only going to touch the tools with that one hand. So I'm saving my gloves. Once you take the tools out of the barbicide, you take them back to the sink and just rinse off the barbicide residue. At this point, you can remove your gloves because the residue from the barbicide should be completely rinsed off. And then you're going to grab a clean towel or a paper towel and just let your tools and implements lay on the towel and air dry. So that is pretty much what I do. That's how I set up for a client and how I clean up after the client is gone. One other thing guys that I did not show you is I usually light a candle or spray the room with Febreze or something like that or even like Lysol spray just so the room smells nice and clean and fresh and they're getting like the full clean experience because I mean, why not? Wouldn't you want that done for you, right? So that's the only thing I didn't show you guys. My bad. I don't know how I left that out. But anyway, I hope this video was very helpful and informative. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow.